Our team coverage continues now with KPRC 2's Real Juan Belogan. He's joining us now live with more on how the Star of Hope is assisting the homeless. Real Juan. Hey, good morning, Andy. You can see members of the Star of Hope here right now loading up the van here. And in minutes, they'll head out into the area to kind of distribute blankets, coats, food, and more to areas to those in the homeless in our area and letting them know of the five opening warming centers across the city beginning tomorrow. Now, we do have a list of those uh, locations you can see on your screen right now. Those include the Moody Community Center, George R. Brown Convention Center, Acres Home, and other. Others. Lakewood Church will also open its doors tomorrow evening around uh, 5 o'clock. Governor Greg Abbott right now encouraging people to take advantage of these services and others as we brace for the Arctic front. The governor said he wrapped up a phone call with local leaders across the state to assure them that the state is available to help them with anything that may arise. People in the state of Texas that are wondering about or may be concerned about uh, the power grid. And we want to make sure that everybody uh, across the entire state of Texas uh, hears directly from uh, the head of the Public Utilities Commission as well as the head of ERCOT uh, to know exactly uh, the way that both uh, the PUC and ERCOT are prepared to make sure that the power grid will, will remain up and running very robustly uh, during this uh, very cold snap. Now the governor there is saying that the power grid is up and operational and that they do expect it to work throughout during this cold snap. As for the warming centers here locally across Houston, Mayor Turner said pets will be allowed against those centers will open tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.